Mechanum wheels are awesome. They can make your robot move sideways, they can replace standard wheels, and well, they just look really cool. Basically, they're just like Omni wheels, but with the axle offset 45 degrees. This allows the robot that's using them to move in any direction, but actually making code to do that can be a bit confusing. So here's everything you need to know to use Mechanum wheels. Mechanum wheels should be mounted like this, so that matching wheels are diagonally across from each other, and the rollers on top of each wheel form a sort of X. A common mistake is to mount the wheels like this. It sort of works, but it causes the robot to rotate when moving. For Omni wheels, they can be mounted like this, and everything else is practically identical to Mechanum wheels. You'll want to set up the directions for all of the motors like this diagram, so that they move the robot towards the positive direction when set to a positive power. So, supplying all motors with equal positive power should make the robot move straight forwards. It can be really easy to overthink things when programming mechanum wheels. So, if you just want a super quick and simple function, this will work. This method does require the x and y values from a thumbstick, so it can be useful when controlled directly by a driver. But unfortunately, it is a bit inaccurate, so I would recommend this next method. The second method is more accurate and uses the angle and power as input, which is generally more useful. Suppose you have a direction you want the robot to move. This will be angle theta. Then, each wheel can be represented by a vector which shows where the wheel is moving. We just need to find the value of all these vectors so they combine to the target direction. If we rotate the robot negative 45 degrees, the vectors of the wheels now represent the x and y components of the target direction. So the power of the right front and left rear motors are sine theta minus 45 degrees, and the power of the other two are cosine theta minus 45 degrees. We'll want to convert these to radians because that is what the sine and cosine functions are expecting. So it would be theta minus pi over 4. This function should make the robot go the same speed in every direction, but the robot is actually capable of more speed in some directions. To get the most out of the motors, you can scale up all the wheel powers so that at least one of them is at max power. Now, to add rotation, you can simply add power to the left wheels and subtract from the right wheels, but this does lead to a problem. Wheel power is set from negative 1 to 1, so if the robot is moving forwards and turns, one of the wheels will exceed the power limit and be cut off. This can cause the robot to behave strangely. To fix this, you can simply add this bit of code, which scales down the power of all wheels until none of them exceed the maximum power. To use this method with a thumbstick, you need to convert the x and y values into polar coordinates. Arctangent 2 makes this really easy. It just takes a y and an x input and returns the angle. And unlike a normal arctangent, it uses the full 2 pi or 360 degree range of angles. And then the power is just the hypotenuse between the point at x and y and the origin. There you have it, two ways to program the cannon wheels or omni wheels. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Thank you.